everyone, welcome back. So today the question says, a collection of 15 coins consisting of only nickels and quarters has a value of $2.75. If X is the number of nickels and Y is the number of quarters, which of the following systems of equations can be used to determine X and Y? So my general ap approach to word problems is to basically just break it down line by line and just basically turn the words into a math equation. So for example, looking at the first sentence, um, that tells us that you have a total of 15 coins and it consists only of nickels and quarters. So what I can use that information to write in a math equation is that x plus y is equal to 15 because the number of nickels plus the number of quarters is equal to 15. So now moving on to the second piece of information it gives us, it tells us that the number of nickels and the number of quarters have a total value of $2.75. So the way I would do this is I would have done 0.05x plus 0.25y is equal to 2.75. And that's because this is the number of nickels, so you need to multiply by its value so that this the units of this would be in dollars just as your $2.75 is. And then same thing with this y. It's the value, which is 0.25 dollars, times y is equal to 2.75. However, when you look at your answer choices, this unfortunately isn't available. This is, and we can eliminate um, this one, this one, and this one just by this equation. Um, however, this one here is going to be a little bit different. So if you notice, in the question they did say 5 cent pieces and 25 cent pieces. So instead of writing it like this, they did 5x plus 25y, and then they just converted this to cents, so they have 275. So essentially all they did was they multiplied this entire equation by 100, so moving the decimal over 2 to the right in um, each one of these terms, you get this equation here. So the correct answer is going to be choice E. And if you notice, it does say which of the following systems of equation can be used to determine X and Y. So both of these would actually work. They just did it a different way than I did. They did it this way. So that being said, if you did do something like I did, just be sure to look at every answer choice carefully and um, kind of try to see the similarities and the differences and maybe how they got from your answer to their answer. So regardless, I hope that this video was helpful. If it was, please like it and subscribe to my channel. Um, I am also a math tutor. My email is in the description box if you would like to set up any math tutoring. All right, thanks for watching.